Rolling Stones Economics. Uh, we've been teaching uh, AP Economics here at Malvern since the second year of AP Me Economics, 1990. Today we have two Malvern Prep Juniors that are going to explain question number one from the AP Micro Test this past year, Friday a week ago. And uh, it's about cinema and uh, workers. So the Beast of Burden was an appropriate song about the labor market. Uh, the two juniors of Malvern Prep are <coughs> Ethan Sirochek and Sean Uhadier. You guys are on with the Beast of Burden. All right, so first stop, we've got Ethan. I'll read the directions and the question. Uh, in the early 20th century, limited transportation options and a lack of effective substitutes gave single cinema monopoly power in a small town. Assume that single cinema is a profit-maximizing profit firm and currently operates at a negative economic profit in the short run. A. Draw a correctly labeled graph for single cinema and show <coughs> each of the following. The profit maximizing price and quantity of tickets, labeled as PM and, P and QM respectively, and the area representing the negative economic profit shaded completely. Alright, so first off we're going to start with part A. Um, we need to label, last we need to label the um, the PM and the QM, respectively, obviously. And we need to show how they're making ne uh, negative economic profit. So we're going to obviously start here. Could you, yeah, could you show a big dot at MR equals MC so we of can course. really yeah. narrow it's in markers. right to where, how we decide that? Good. The marker's kind of crapped out. We can see there's a big dot where MR equals MC. <coughs> and then we're going to um, try my best to go up from here. Then to show the neg uh, negative economic profit. Well, before we do that, they want you to label what? They want you to label the uh, oh. the uh, label the quantity QM and the price PM. Beautiful PM and QM. Very good. And then um, this area here is going to be where they're making negative economic profit. Well, could you show the relationship that where where is? Could you write down on the board oh, P okay. ATC? Where is the price? compared to the average total cost in this example. Oh, yeah. of the so um, in this example, the price is below the average total cost. So less than. So P, uh, P, P would be less, less than, than ATC. ATC. Write that down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Remember good. Remember that, guys? The price is less than. So uh, part B, um, so um, the last part of this is uh, part B. Explain why this, uh, so, uh, even though they're making negative economic profit, I have so this, could you shade the area of the negative economic profit? There's the price. See, the yeah. price is where it hits the demand curve. So the price is a pretty big dot right here. Oh, okay. Big dot right here at that intersection. Uh, now that's PM. Go over and put the <coughs> line over to PM. That's the price. Now there the price is, is less than the average total cost. So this is the this this oh, this, this, this is that, that area right there. Uh -oh. Very good. Very good. There's the there's the negative economic profits, and they wanted you to to uh, this to shade it completely. Thank you. That's the that's the end of question A. All right. Oh, wait, make sure you have to explain part B why they're still open. Oh yeah. So even though they're making negative economic profit, sorry, even though they're making negative economic profit, they're um the price is higher than the ABC, so they're able to stay open even though they're losing money in the short run. Very very good. And a monopoly doesn't have any competition, so. That may be another reason why, for example, in 2008 during a recession, you could only buy this, go to the cinema at this one monopolist. Yeah. I'm going to hand it off to Sean for the rest. Gary, the oh, scores. This would be part C. Part C. Um, would single cinema's total revenue increase, decrease, or stay the same if it decides to sell one fewer ticket than uh, <coughs> QM? Explain. Single cinema's revenue, total revenue, um, would decrease if they decided to sell one less because as you can see this is quantity start and when they produce that quantity start that is the profit maximizing uh, output so if they produce any less or any greater than quantity start they will be taking money off of their profit pile um, because as you can see before quantity start the MR is actually greater than MC so they would be making more money selling that extra ticket. Part D. Awesome. Uh, single cinema hires workers in a perfectly competitive labor market with a downward slope of demand. <coughs> Suppose the number of workers available in the market decreases. What will happen to the wage rate? Explain. All right. So the wage rate in, in the labor market, um, the wage rate, since it's com 
perfectly competitive. It's uh, completely elastic, which means that the, the, the workers are price takers rather than price setters. So the wage rate is completely dependent on the business's demand. So when there is a decrease in workers available, the wage rate will actually remain the same, again, because um, there is no change in the demand and the wage rate is completely elastic. That's awesome, and is this one more part, part four, uh, part. number two, part D, number two. Uh, what will happen to the marginal revenue product of the last worker hired, explain? The marginal revenue product of the last <coughs> worker hired will decrease, and this is because when there are less workers in the labor market, the demand for labor will decrease, thus causing the quantity to decrease, and demand can also be um, translated, I guess, as the MRP, which is the marginal re revenue product, and um, that's what the, the question is asking about. And because, and because um, the MRP decreases with the, the lack of workers, uh, you see the quantity go down, and uh, you can see the Q number two <coughs> is on the left, which so Sean, one last thing on that question in the explanation would it ask you to explain. In the product market, it was where MR equals MC. What is it in the labor market, in that little box you have there? That yeah, very we hard. have um, the MRP equals the MRC, which is the marginal resource cost, um, equals the marginal revenue products. Perfect, and that's yeah. how you found the quantity star of labor in this question. Excellent job. Uh, have a nice summer. Uh, we hope that everybody gets a chance to watch your explanation of this. And good job as a beast of burden.